we're going to make cauliflower keto rice. So if you like these keto recipes, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any. Okay guys, here are some of the ingredients you need for this recipe. I used this frozen cauliflower rice I got from Costco. Jalapenos, fresh jalapenos. Spring onions from the garden. I used fresh cilantro and celery. Other things you will need to use is chicken broth, ground beef, and organic cumin. First of all, I'm going to be sauteing my spring onions, my celery, and my jalapeno peppers in three tablespoons of olive oil. We're just going to saute this up until all the onions and celery and vegetables are translucent. After you're done sauteing your vegetables, put them in a bowl or a dish and set them aside for later. Now it's time to cook the ground beef. And you just brown your meat until it's thoroughly cooked. And next we will be cooking the cauliflower. cooking the frozen cauliflower, sauteing it and getting it all um, cooked where it's not frozen anymore. Next we're going to make our sauce. In the pan here I have uh, cut up a bunch of cilantro and put in here and I'm going to add a can of this chicken broth. It is a uh, 33% low sodium. You can use sodium, whatever kind of chicken broth you want. And it has um, zero percent, one gram of uh, carbs and sugar, zero, one gram. And it's the exact same with this that I'm going to add the rosarita. It has one gram of um, carbs and two grams of sugar, which it says zero percent sugar, uh, no added sugar. So I, I'm not a, a doctor, a keto doctor or expert, but um, this is keto friendly. I, I cut down on all the carbs and the sugar as much as I can. And so we've got one can of this enchilada sauce. So guys, if you're doing keto, make sure you read your labels. Next, I'm going to be adding a teaspoon of cumin. I'm going to cook all these ingredients now and bring it to a boil. Then I'm going to simmer it for about 15 minutes to just so it can thicken a little bit. Then I'm going to put my cauliflower, my hamburger meat, and my uh, vegetables together and cook them together. We have our sauce thickened up now and we're ready to add it to our cauliflower rice mixture. Next I'm going to add the sauce to the cauliflower rice. I'm just going to add a little at a time to see how much I need. So now just mix it all in. Mix your rice well and place the rice in a casserole dish garnished with lime and cilantro. Here's our Spanish rice all finished. Ready to serve. 